now let's talk about exporting the mesh that we've created. So from my Explorer, if I right click here on the model graph itself, I have an option for export. So let's take a look at this first. So I'll click export. And here you can see that I have a save as type option. The default is a Substance 3D model file, a .sbsm. This model file can be opened directly in Substance 3D Stager. Now, if I click the drop down, I can also choose a more common format such as FBX or OBJ. So here in a 3D program, you can see that I've just imported an FBX version of the bookshelf we created in Substance Designer using our model graph. So now let's take a look at sending this object to Substance 3D Stager for rendering. So now I'll just come over to my model graph, right click and choose send to Substance 3D Stager. This is going to open the Stager application and then send the bookshelf right over. Here you can see that we have our bookshelf. And if we take a look at the object properties, we have our substance properties that we exposed in the graph. So I can make some adjustments here to things like the width, the shelf amount, as well as the shelf duplication. I can also work with the material tags that I assigned in the substance model graph. I'll deselect the shelf. I'm gonna come over here to my materials and I'll do a quick search here for wood. And I'm just gonna grab a wood material and just drag it here onto the shelf. Next, I'll come over to my materials and I'm going to grab this glass material and then I can just drag and drop it here onto one of the shelves. That's the material tag that we set in our model graph. And then I'll come over here to ray tracing so that we can get a more clear representation of what our materials in our model is actually gonna look like. Okay, let's just jump over here to the environment lights and I'm gonna come over to my starter assets, come over to the lights and then just select here the small apartment. Now I can adjust my lighting. I can also select the bookshelf, come back over to the object, and then continue to play around with the parameters. I can still interactively work with the parameters while ray tracing is active. Next, I'll jump over here to my assets where I have my models, and I can drag and drop a model onto one of the shelves. Here, I'll select mat, I'll drag it out into the scene, and you can see that we can actually snap mat here to the face normals of the 3D object that we created. So I'll just place him right here on the shelf and let's go ahead and just scale him up and rotate him into place. As you can see, we can export our substance models to a static format such as FBX or OBJ, or we can export a substance model file which can be updated in Substance Stager or sent to Substance Stager directly. We will be supporting a wider range of 3D applications in the future.